Smart farm and seedling propagation is one of the most critical stages for any farmer seeking to ensure success in production. However, majority of farmers propagate their seeds manually, leading to poor germination rate of plants. Now, it is against this backdrop that some growers are now automating their systems to reverse such trends. A farm in Nakuru County is leading by example, producing quality seedlings using the latest technologies. Our very own Dennis Ocheno tells us more on this week's Smart Farm. Five kilometers from Naivasha town in Nakuru County, a state-of-the-art facility is reshaping the landscape of seedling propagation. It is the brainchild of Elad Button, an Israeli who fell in love with Kenya over a decade ago. He co-founded the farm together with a friend as he sought to solve pre- and post-harvest losses in farming. I came to Kenya about uh, 12 years ago to... Uh, to uh, participate in the propagation of ornamentals and roses mainly. Uh, while I did that, I kept getting requests from many farmers uh, to propagate other products for them, tomatoes, cucumbers, cabbages, etc., etc. Uh, since it requires a completely different facility, and I could not do it in this operation, uh, in the other operation, that means. So, uh, that inspired me to, uh, to find partners and to establish this place. Today, the farm which covers over two hectares boasts of an automated propagation unit. One cannot help but notice the hundreds of trees with seedlings at different stages of production. The farm is propagating seedlings across different categories. We have the flowers. We have the vegetables, we have the fruits, and we do have uh, the tree seedlings, the forest tree seedlings. We are making more than 200 range, uh, 200 different crops, so it's quite a wide variety of range. Uh, we are, of course, among those crops that are bigger and smaller uh, crops, for example, tomatoes is a very big uh, chunk of what we are doing. Uh, uh, tender stem broccoli, cut flowers, that are going then to export are a very big uh, product for us. According to John Wambogo, the farm's business model is mainly to produce pre-ordered seedlings. 99% of what you can see is on orders. The farmers will come and tell us the one, the crop is looking for and the variety. Then you advise us on the quantities that he is looking for. Then from there, we are able to give a quote to the farmer and we also advise on timelines. Various crops will take different timelines. So able to tell the farmers exactly how long the products will take. Elad is using a technology dubbed plant propagator to grow the seedlings. During propagation, the machine is loaded with trays. Like a conveyor belt, the machine moves the trays, putting the most important medium needed for the seeds, pit moss. The seeds are carefully inserted into holes formed in the medium and then finally irrigated. From here, they are ready for the germination room. After they leave the germinating chamber, they will go to the greenhouse. This greenhouse is customized in a way. The first one week, they will stay under the shade. Then, that will encourage the seeds that, uh, to, to shoot properly without much stress. Then again, also now we expose them. Now, the way we feed our seedlings is very paramount. We have a controlled system where agronomists are able to come up with what we call the feeding program, spray program, irrigation program. They're able to give the plants the right quantities of water, of minerals, and adequate spraying to ensure that we are not, we are not uh, harboring any disease or pest. Once instructions are issued for the machine to do the work at the click of a button, the entire process takes a matter of seconds. Now compared with manual propagation, 
This system has a number of benefits, the key one being achieving a 95% success rate in seed germination. In such, we are able to, to ensure that uh, we, we do give the good timelines for the crop. We give the client the seedlings at the optimum level so that they don't overgrow in our nursery and they are not at age. This is important because when you transplant seeds at the optimum level, you're able to achieve faster growth and also uh, proper production without exposing the seedlings to stress. The farm is, however, not fully automated as it still has a few workers playing a key role in the propagation process. Uh, we actually consider our workers our biggest asset, uh, the knowledge and the know-how that they have acquired here and now is serving all the farmers of Kenya is, uh, is vital for the success. But you, you need a minimum of automation if you want to achieve both uh, uniformity of crop once you control uh, the irrigation automatically, once you control the level of fertilizers, the level of uh, uh, water that you are giving to each uh, and every cell, then you can control the growth. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.